So, this is the final match of Swiss from my Wakefield Regional run. And I know that from my probable resistance that I will need to win this match to cut. So I'm going to be facing Marcus McNally, who's going to be rocking the Generation Showdown winning team. But he's going to switch up his Mega Choice and lead with Moal instead of Salamence. So I'm going to lead up with Gengar and Scizor, and I can see that both his Pokémon probably can't threaten my Scizor. So I am able to just get out the Sword Stance if he doesn't fake out. He's going to Mega Revolve his Mawal, and he's not going to fake out. He's actually going to Icicle Crash onto my Gengar, which is a really good play because Knock Off wouldn't have knocked out a Mega Gengar or a Sash Gengar, and Icicle Crash has the flinch chance. So that was a really good play. But I don't flinch. I get the Sludge Bomb off to break the Weavile Sash because it didn't show Life Orb. It's probably Sash. And I do get my Sword Stance up so I can threaten the Bullet Punch KO onto this Weavile next turn. And the Mawal ends up going for Fire Fang, which is terrible. I didn't actually know much information on this team. I should probably should have looked it up because it was online. If I'd have known he had Fire Fang, I would have definitely switched out into Kyogre that turn. But he ends up missing, which is absolutely huge. Because now I've got a plus one Scizor that can just spam Bullet Punch ev everywhere. So I am expecting to just sack Gengar this turn and stop the Fire Fang. But he actually Icicle crashes my Scizor instead, which actually lets me get off this skill swap onto this Mawal, effectively halving its attack. So I wasn't expecting... To get that for this turn. I was expecting Gengar to just go down and no Fire Fang, but he actually predicted my Kyogre switch in and play rough the Gengar, which is really, really good for me because now this Mawal is at half attack and that's just more than I was expecting from that turn. And I even get to bring in my full health Kyogre now, which would have taken a play rough but didn't, so I can just spam full power water spouts because I can threaten this Weavile with a bullet punch, and that's the only thing that would be able to outspeed me. He could sucker punch my Kyogre. But a single target Water Spout at half health would probably take out a Mawal. So he is actually going to withdraw it into his Kyogre, because that was definitely his best switch in for a full power Water Spout. And he is obviously going to be the Primal version of Kyogre, because they want to waste all the time. Imagine if there was a Bolt switching Primal that kept on Primal reversing every single time it came in. That would waste so much time. Anyway, I'm going to be bullet punching this Weavile. Sash is broken, so it's definitely going to KO. And now I get a single target water spout, full power, onto this Kyogre, which should do about half, given it's a Primal Kyogre anyway. But I end up getting a critical hit, which is, again, really, really big. Because now the Kyogre is probably in double target water spout KO range. And since he brings in Cresselia, I assume that he's going to be slower than me. So I can just freely water spout again, and it is actually enough to KO this Kyogre. I'm pretty sure I bug, bu bug bit the Kyogre as well, just to be safe. But anyway, he's going to get his Citrus Berry, so no Mental Herb. And I'm going to be Bug Biting this Cresselia. And I actually outspeed it, and I underspeed Cresselia's, so he's definitely going for Trick Room that turn. Didn't even let me uh, eat his Citrus Berry, which was mean of him, even though I was at full health. But Cresselia's going to go down. He's only got his Mawa left, and I've definitely won this match. So I'm going to Sword Stance here, just for style, I guess, to avoid Sucker Punch. But I get a full power Water Spout onto this Mawal, and it's definitely going to KO. So I have gone 6-1 in Swiss, I've definitely top cut, but I felt really, really bad for my opponent, and I really hoped that he made top cut as well, because he was 5-2, he could have bubbled, but he actually made top cut, so everything worked out all right, I guess. So anyway, on to the quarterfinals.